back a little bit. Hey everyone, it's Mara and Linda with Paint Transfer Design. We'll give us a moment to have people log on. There's nobody on right now, but that gives a few moments for us to set up. I'm wearing my husband's glasses. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can figure this one out. Tell me when people come up. Oh, we got two. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi. It's Linda and Mara. Today we're going to talk about making DIY decor risers, which are very popular on Pinterest and Instagram um, for home decor in kitchen accessories, coffee bars. So we're going to use ours in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where you're popping in from and give us your name. I think this time we're going to be loud enough and we're in the right direction. We're not going to be sideways. Talia is here from Houston, Texas. Hi, Talia. Hi, Talia. Farmington, New Mexico? Yep. Hi, Tom. Jamie. Tom? No, from, that's uh, Terry. Terry from Idaho. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm wearing my husband's glasses. This is Mara, and I'm Linda. We're Hi. a mother-in-law and daughter-in-law team from Warwick, Rhode Island. Uh, we run PaintTransferDesign.com. And today we're going to be working on wood risers and a couple of things I'm going to do with my wood is I'm going to show you how to blend. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I'm going to blend, um, do a paint blend with two different colors and show you how to get a, a nice smooth transition on a blend. And Mara is going to do what Mara? You're going to? Um, I don't know what it's called, the, you know, the grain sack. Yep. Stripes. Um, so I'm going to start with that today. This is going to be like a multiple live video process when we're doing these. So today we're just going to start with these in the painting and then we're going to go further into the building of them in future live videos. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to position the camera so that we're on our project and you can see us painting here. Everybody can hear us okay? See, the last time we were sideways, back a little bit. I'm gonna go back. Yeah. Can you see? I could see just my project. Okay. All right, we'll start with yours and then I will pop on and show you what I'm doing when I get all set. So you can start with yours. All right. So I'm gonna be using, I've already taped off where I'm going to be painting the main stripes of this. Um, I kind of just eyeballed it because I was in a hurry. <laughs> However, you probably want to measure if you're going to do that same thing yourself. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Cheryl. I like to just wet the surface that I'm starting with and spray water into my paint. I don't know. It just makes it easier to work with, I think. So the color that I'm using right now is uh, Mason Dixon Gray. And it goes on so nice and easy. Hi, Auntie Teresa. Hi, Margaret from Australia and North Carolina. Hi, Nancy. Oh, good. Cheryl says we're glad we're doing rises. I, she's been looking for some more ideas for hers. Hi, Teresa. Haven't seen you in a long time. Hello, Massachusetts. Eileen, our neighbor. 
I feel like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. <laughs> I don't have my sweater on today. <laughs> Sorry. What color is that, Mara? Um, I, it's Mason Dixon gray. Did someone ask? No, I'm Linda. Linda asked. Oh, I'm just thinking, <laughs> I had just said it. That's why I was making sure. Hi, Nancy. We can't wait to get you guys into the shop and do, do this together. And this time when we do the uh, Dixie Belle silk screen stencils, we're going to do it right. Because <laughs> it is a silk screen stencil. And there is an applicator in the package. <laughs> there is it. <laughs> it's right here. Okay. <laughs> Now, when you do the riser, do you just do the single board or you double them up? Um, just a single. Okay. Um, we're, we're just, basically, we're going to add bun feet to the bottom. Um, you could also, instead of doing a riser, you could do um, like a tray and put, mm -hmm. you know, handles on each side or, you know, draw poles, mm -hmm. um, you know, whatever your heart desires. There we go. Giving out candy here. This is good. I'm using my round, small Dixie Bell brush as well. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, it's one of my favorites. But then again, they're all one of my <laughs> favorites. <laughs> Did you have to do anything to the wood before you started that project? Um, I had. I had did a scuff sand uh, just to make sure there wasn't any sticky material left on um, when they took the price tag off. Hi Kim. Cheryl says that you could Hi, also, also do a Lazy Susan if you wanted to. That's a great idea. I think they sell those components at Lowe's and Home Depot. Yeah, I'll have to check into it. Hi, Christine from Central Illinois. I'm glad you're here with us. and stop my well. Yeah, we can turn this a little bit so we're both in here. Okay. Right there. I sound I'm like using my right hand, Nancy. <laughs> it's It reverses it in camera. Okay, so on my riser, Mara already scuffed sanded, so she told me. She came in running in the door at 350 and I was so afraid I was going to be doing this by myself, but she didn't disappoint. So <laughs> came with supplies and everything. <laughs> this is Thomas the train. <laughs> My granddaughter's dish that broke, so I stole it from her because I didn't want to get her. So we have peacock and mermaid tail. So I have those those two colors, and then I took peacock and mermaid tail and mixed them together together. So I'm gonna do a blending technique on this. So if you were painting a piece of furniture, you would put your first color on, and I have my spray bottle, but my spray bottle is a lot messier. Here's Mara's. I also just got a new one because mine <laughs> and this broke. this is mine. Oh boy. I dropped it off the ironing board. So I sprayed the wood, and this is my mini angle one of my favorite brushes and I have the mini flat 
and we have more of these brushes coming in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop painting the mermaid tail. And the thing I like about the angle, you can get your edges. This color is one of my favorite colors, the mermaid tail. Yeah, it's so pretty. I actually did that one. I put um, the moonstone, moonstone metallics? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it's called, moonstone metallics. Um, the Pacific, I think it is, mm -hmm. uh, over that color and it looks so cool. Um, you got some paint in your hair. I just don't want you to get it on your shirt. Okay. She's always telling me I have something somewhere. But anyway. Would you rather know than not know? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to do the peacock. I think I'm going to do mermaid tail, peacock, and then I'm not going to touch the mermaid with the peacock yet. I'm going to let it dry somewhat. So we have the mermaid tail and the peacock. And I almost have the colors touching, but not really. How's yours coming along? You're taking your... Christine, we're making um, wood, ri wood risers for home decor, uh, you know, your kitchen, any of those areas that you want to Thank you. <laughs> it's Friday. Sorry. <laughs> Some people have them um, in their coffee area. We have Boston accents, so if that's okay. <laughs> More like Rhode Island accents. Well, Rhode Island. It's a New England accent. So here's mine. Now I'm going to go back to my mermaid tail. Want to move over a little bit so you can see me. Sorry, did I spray you? No, it's all right. I wasn't doing that because of that. All right. So when you're doing blending, you want to have at three to four brushes available, depending on how many colors you're blending. And it takes practice, so. Don't be discouraged on the first try that you didn't get it right. I have done this many times and a lot of times you have to just let it dry and walk away from it and come back to it and look at it again. So I'm gonna give that a minute to dry, dry and I'm gonna move over. So I have mermaid tail, peacock in the middle and mermaid tail. and give Mara a chance here. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Linda's giving herself some compliments. Much coffee. deserved. Kristen Ray says she can say the word coffee all day long. Where are you from, Kristen? Mississippi is Cheryl, right? MS is Mississippi, right? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> We're not good with geography. <laughs> well, it, I think it's Mississippi. Mississippi is MS. Oklahoma, Kristen is from Oklahoma. Okay, so. Oh, that's cool. You gotta move over a little bit, so. Yep. I took my, my tape off. Still a little damp on here. I'm just gonna kind of brush it along to get it to dry a little faster. I have a 
dryer if you want. That's almost done. That's so pretty. Even with what are you gonna do with the other color? Are you gonna leave it natural? Um, I was thinking about that. I unintentionally forgot my stain. Um, what is that? Oh, voodoo. Yeah, gel my stain. voodoo gel stain. I think I might have the some. tobacco road. Um, that was my intention here. Okay. Um, Let me check and see if I have some. Okay. That would be okay. You know, Nancy, I'm not 100% sure at the moment. I will have to check with Linda when she gets back upstairs. Um, but even if it weren't 100% food safe, I imagine that you could put something on top of it when you put your cake on top of it to avoid it from actually touching it. Like a piece of wax paper. Nancy asked if the paint was food safe. Uh, she wants to make a cake turntable for mm -hmm. a Lazy Susan. So once it's done, we can put it on. So it is food safe, Nancy, yes. And um, you, you want to seal the top. I do have oven smoke. That works. Uh, let's see. So just show them what it is. I want to make sure it's going to squirt out for you. So Linda has up in smoke in the voodoo gel stain, so I'm gonna use that in place of what I was, the tobacco road that I left at home. <laughs> so the, show them like how to shake it and all that stuff. Like what, so how So it it's just a squeeze bottle, kind of like a, an old style ketchup bottle. And shake it all up. And hopefully, I have used this, so I would squeeze it on there first, make sure. Right. So I'm just going to squeeze it. Oh, good, it. it does work. So this comes in six colors. Um, a denim. Tobacco Road. Tobacco Road. Up in Smoke. What is the white one called? White Wash. White Wash. Oh. It's going to be very close to what yeah. it is. So you could just show them how it's going to, like. Might look cool that way. We'll see. And then wipe it back. Yeah. A clean cloth. Okay. Yeah, that looks cool. So it's very similar to the the Mason Nixon gray. Mm -hmm. So I'm just dabbing it on a little and then pulling it across. You can use water with the yep. stain, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I hope so. I'm also going to spray a little, see if I can pull more down. You, you know what looks really pretty too, which I can do for you, is set it up, is finish that and then do it. We can do a white wash on the top with oh, some white yeah. paint. That would be cool. All right, let me get that set up. This is what happens, spur of the moment <laughs> ideas. You can plan all day long. But when you actually get down to it, it turns out completely different. No problem there. I think you're right, Auntie Teresa. I think she does want one for Mother's Day. Looks like I get to make one for Mother's Day, which is fine with me. Do you like this one, Mom? Sounds good. So we're gonna, once I'm done, I'll hop over to mine when you're done. With the um, the stain here, Linda's going to pop back on with her riser, and then I'll be back on, and we're going to do a white wash to the top of it, or more like a pink, <laughs> a pink wash, which is probably look cool considering the gray. Right.
So you can take any of the Dixie Belle chalk paints and add water to it and water it down. So this color is pink champagne. I just had a little bit of the left. Making some music that I... So basically it's watered down paint. And Mara will take, she probably use a cloth and or another brush I have over here and uh, spread it on and then wipe it. Oh, that's cool. Spread it on and wipe it back. I like the look of that. Thanks. Let me see if there are any questions. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I think, oh, that's a good idea, Teresa. These made great Mother's Day gifts. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be making one for my mom for oh, Mother's yes. Day. <laughs> she likes this one, so we'll see how this goes. Do you want to use this brush for the, you want to wait a little bit? And yeah, I'm going to let it dry down a little bit. So okay. Linda's going to hop on now, So, but this is what it looks like. Wow, I really like it myself from this <laughs> point of view. Looks completely different to, to me at the moment, but it looks very cool. Okay, so I'm back on. I'm gonna show you how to blend. Um, we have mermaid tail, peacock, and mermaid tail. So what I did, I took my mermaid tail and peacock and I put mixed it together to make another color. So you can easily go back with each one of your colors. And you don't have to do this step, but for first time blenders, it's a little easier. But you can come back in with your paints. Here's my mermaid tail. I'll show you one side without the blend. And then the other side I'll show you using the blend. So basically I'm coming in close to my line and it's wet again. Now I'm gonna come back in with my peacock and go close to my line. So that's really not blended. So now you're gonna take a dry brush and you wanna have a towel next to you and you're just gonna simply go like this with your dry brush back and forth up and down and you're just going to blend it until you like it and I can come back in with <laughs> blend it until you like it blend it like you like it hopefully you don't blend it too much till your arm falls off <laughs> <laughs> so you can add more color so that's the first technique you have your separate dry brush your two colors and you're just gonna blend. Looks good. So that's blended right here. I might come back in after it's dry. So now the second technique, if it's your first time, you're gonna take the two colors and I'm just gonna use a brush, uh, artist brush that I have. So I'm gonna take the two colors that I put together and I'm gonna put them See how they're already kind of blended? So I'm gonna put them on my line. And this technique is very easy for the first time. So now take your dry brush. And when you're dry brushing, you wanna be very light. So I'm just, this is a uh, paint cloth on, on a table here. So I'm gonna come back and blend up. My husband's in the background talking as usual, his 4.30 call. <laughs> so, and it looks different because the middle is still wet. Yeah. And then 
go this way and that way. So let me get a little bit more green. Let me do. So I actually like the way I did it the first time on that one, on the first side. Yeah. The second technique, I think I have, I'm just going to let it dry. Actually, they both look good. So there's the second one and the first one. But looking at it, I really like it. <laughs> I'm dripping here. I didn't want you to I'm get it. I'm dripping. Off. All right. It does look really good. It kind of looks like a desert. Kind of looks like planet Earth. <laughs> I wouldn't say a desert. <laughs> I was thinking like a. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Maybe about like Jupiter <laughs> or Mars. Oh, Mars. I think Mars is red. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So there's a simple blending technique. Just practice on a small board like this and you'll have it in, done in no time. And but there's no perfection. I know. You can come back and add more paint, do a little bit more blending up here. Now that I'm looking at it, I actually like my second. <laughs> I like them both. Second technique, but it, it will look different as it dries. So now I'm gonna let Mara drop, jump in over here and do her, finish hers. So I'm going to do a light wash to this now. You need another brush, right? Do I? I this one's clean. Oh, okay, good. So I'm just going to take it. Everybody's so quiet on here. Nobody's saying anything. I know we're pretty quiet too <laughs> when we're alone, but... Does anyone like the blue riser or the stripe riser? I like how the wood grain is showing through. And you can also use your sprayer too. Oh, good. I probably should go in the grain here. Go with the grain. So I'm just going up and down, and then I'm going to, once I'm all done, I'm going to take my cloth here, or should Either I use one? Okay, I'll use this one because I don't want to dirty too many. Now you want to spray it and go with the grain only. Okay. Spray it with water. I'm going to take my spray bottle. Is that good? Mm hmm Okay. So even though we use this, these products and we use them frequently, techniques are always different. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have someone to help you give you some pointers when you try a new technique. So, saying that, please feel free to contact us <laughs> at any point because we do know these techniques and have no problem helping you out with them. That's pretty, and you have a little bit white on the edge oh, here, okay. but you're going to um, properly do this technique, right? Yeah, I was thinking about that, but I don't think we're going to be able to have enough time for today, so it might be next week because Linda's still going to... Are you doing a stencil? 
who wants to see a stencil on my green <laughs> design? So we have uh, this. We would be using these stencils, right? Yep. So these are again since we really like these the um, bells and whistles, the mandala silk screen stencils. So. This is number one and this is number two. If you do want to see it on Linda's piece, please let me know which one. Okay, and then also, um, before we start stenciling, I want to show them what you're going to do with okay. this, the edge of your riser. Nancy says, yes, you should do one of the stencils, okay. but in orange, if you have orange, to pop. Okay, good idea. So this one on Linda's, you think, Nancy? Number one from Jamie. Oh boy. So Linda's drying her piece in the other room. What I'm going to do with this maybe not these because i think they might be too big for me well here, huh? when you put the risers on they're going to be above the ground right i just wasn't yeah that's a good point so it's gonna i'm gonna do this beaded half beaded effect around the edge um we purchased these um half wooden beads on amazon we can do a link later in our on our Facebook page. I'll do a link to the products, all the products that we used. So they'd like to see number one. What's number one? Oh. Um, oddly, it's the one that you did last time. All right. I wanted to just see how the risers are going to look. The beat. Right. So, and then when we're going to put the the beads on the side. What do you guys think of that? Or do you think we should just go with flat edge? Or do you think we should do different feet? We can put, I have the hot glue if you want to add, put a couple on and then, um, yeah. So this is really pretty. That's how the whitewash looked. Just gave it a little bit of a haze. All right, so now, all right, I'm just gonna, I have to get, just run and get my contrast color for my stencil. So Matt, I just, um, we're gonna introduce Truman, the, <laughs> one of the cutest golden retrievers there is. Hi, Choo Choo. We call him Choo Choo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hi, Choo Choo. You're on camera. Leave it flat? Yeah, no one wants to, they don't think I should do the beads on the side. Okay. What about on Linda's in the future, next time? Possibly. Potentially. <laughs> so Truman is my dog, Tucker's half brother. No, I'm sorry, he's his nephew. <laughs> All right, so no beads on anybody's. Well, maybe the next time I will do not a different piece with the beads on the side then. Okay. All right, Linda's here with so, the paint. These are the FIFO bottles you, we take Mara and I share a lot of paint. So if you're doing projects and you open up a jar of paint, a lot of times you're not gonna use this entire jar. So we, I, what I do is I em empty it into one of these bottles and then I give the paint to Mara and she can work on a project. So the two colors I have, we have another vote. This is apricot, which, yeah, that's apricot. Is it? Oh. Yeah. And this is peony. 
Oh, the, I know the painting. I looked like it was a different color. It's pink. Pink, pink. So what color should I use? I don't have orange. I could mix the two of them. That might look cool. So... Not blended, but like... Yeah. Um, ombre? Yeah. All right, so... That's apricot. Nancy says mix. Mix? Okay. Should I mix them together or do a variegated, like an ombre? Here we go. Well, I guess right now we're going to be mixing them. I knew you were going to say apricot, Auntie Teresa. <laughs> I know how much you like peach and apricot color. So, Mara, why don't you mix that while I get my stencil ready? Yeah. <laughs> Can you move over a little bit? Yeah. Okay. okay. So here's the stencil. I'm just going to mark the center of this. <laughs> what happened? I got some of the peacock and mermaid tail in it. Oh, that's okay. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this. So right about there. So they, did they say I was going to use this one? Um, they all wanted number one. Is this Except for Nancy, she wanted number two. Is this number two, Nancy? Yes. I want to use this one today, too, because I used the other one last week. I'm sorry, guys. Last month. <laughs> last, last month. So these come in packages of three. And there are other designs, designs other than the mandala one. All right, so you peel it off. And it's a silk screen. So it has um, a screen in there, like the old fashioned silk screen. When we did our craft projects in school. So we're gonna try to get this. And you can lift it off again. I'm just gonna make sure I have it even here. It's not so much orange, but it'll look interesting. <laughs> it'll definitely be like a oh, yeah, I can just... Caribbean just... type look. So, a little bit. so I'm just centering this on the board. Kind of. And then one and a half. Okay. So you press it on the board, like that. Just my little spatula. Which is going to ask you about. <laughs> yeah. So this comes in the package. It is not an extra piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to use one second. You can probably pick it up with that the scraper. Yeah, so I know. So I have an artist brush and we have the pink color. Just gonna do. Okay. Just gonna do I'm just gonna spread the paint on the entire thing and then I'm gonna push it through with the spatula. Just the middle part. Oh, too late. What? I oh, not the, no. Nancy said not let, just do the middle part, so not that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Is this Nancy's um, tray? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is this her Mother's Day gift? <laughs> Jeez, now I don't even have to make one. That's right. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I love it when a project comes out really nice, but let's wait until we peel off. <laughs> when you don't expect it to, or you just aren't planning it. 
that I said earlier, you know, your project can, you can plan all day long right. on a, a project, the way that you want to do a project, but when it comes down to it, you end up doing something completely different. Okay. Here's the spatula, whatever you want to call this thing. I'm gonna use a paper towel and wipe it off. Doesn't want to stick in. I think so. It like pushes it in. Yeah. I'm gonna do it both ways, just to be sure. Like up and down. Mm -hmm. And when I do this, it doesn't really take a lot of paint off, so. I just want to make sure that this is totally pressed in. All of these products can be found on our website at paintransferdesign.com. And if it's out of stock, please message us. We can get them right to you. Okay, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> Don't mind us for getting a little excited about it. So after I take this off, I'm just going to rinse it in water. The okay. stencil. The stencil. So pretty. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. It reminds me of like one of those yoga, like. Isn't that pretty? I love it. It could have gone a little darker over there, but see that spot? Yeah, I think it looks really cool though. So you could probably like, like spray it a little bit and like water it down. You yep. know what I mean, so that it fades um, towards that side. So who's getting this one for Mother's Day, Nancy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold this. I'm gonna rinse this and show them. Um, you can reuse the. Um, wow. Stencil. Yeah, the silk screen stencils, up to nine more times. Uh, so a total of 10 times that you can use the stencil. And if you're really careful, you probably can get a lot more out of that. Right. I mean, That's I wasn't so careful, so <laughs> mine didn't last that long. <laughs> I didn't use paint. Actually, I used, uh, I didn't use chalk paint the last time I used um, silk. Mm -hmm. And... The silk is a lot different than the chalk paint. Um, That's right. There's no water. It is not a obviously it's not a chalk paint. It's um, a an acrylic paint, right? An acrylic mineral paint. Yeah. So it has a top coat built in and a primer. Um, I like using it on a flat, a large flat surface. Personally, uh, it makes the, the furniture pop. Okay, I just rinse this with water, and I only rinse the top side, not the sticky side. And I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit, and then I'm gonna put the paper backing back on so I can use it again. Thank you, Nancy. So, does anyone have any questions before we sign off? Does anybody have any questions before we sign off? about the products or <laughs> techniques, any of, anything at all. I have to stop squinting and trying to look at the screen, but let's just show them again. <laughs> so yell at her when she does it, okay? <laughs> I have to wear glasses, but this is the um, blended piece. With, for the risers. And, and this then, is the, what is it called? The grain sack? Yeah, green. Green sack stripe. With a whitewash. With a whitewash. 
<laughs> How, How long will your turntable be ready? <laughs> <laughs> um, not until maybe the next uh, live. Let's get it going here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Nancy, do you want this one? We will have it delivered. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Is it this one or the other one? Oh, she loves yours. Oh, okay. You want it to be a turntable or you want the bun feet? <laughs> All right. Or do you want a, what was the other thing that we were gonna do? Lazy Susan, well, that would the, be the turntable. Yes, yes. Or a tray. Tray, I love this one. She wants both. both. <laughs> How do we do that? <laughs> We could, we could actually have one side be this. We could do a, you could flip it over. Oh, yeah. And if you had a Lazy Susan that wasn't attached, you could do it for two different holidays. Yeah. You, do, <laughs> you know, whatever that could be. And yeah. Yeah. That's actually a good idea. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We, we haven't yet decided on all of them, the, just the options, Cheryl. One of us will be using feet. <laughs> Not sure who the other, what the other person is using. Okay. Well, everybody have a great fri Friday evening. Go get your pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Go have sit, a good time. Sit in front of the TV. Yeah. Nothing else to do. And paint. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, painttransferdesign.com. We have all the products available. We're on um, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Where else? Anywhere else? That's it. That's it. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Nancy. Bye, Teresa. Have a great weekend, guys. See ya.